St. Louis Entrepreneurial Ecosystem Resources, prepared for and presented at the 2014 Square One Entrepreneurship Training Program. Square One is a program of the Center for Emerging Technologies. CET is an affiliate of the Cortex Innovation Community. Square One is funded in part by the Missouri Technology Corporation. And I will invite Phyllis Ellison up and we're going to kick off a conversation with um, Phyllis talking about and explaining the um, entrepreneurial ecosystem. And Phyllis is the best candidate to do this because she has had extensive experience working in the St. Louis entrepreneurial community. Um, she joined Cortex uh, Innovation Community uh, in 2014 as the Director of Entrepreneur Services and Institutional and Corporate Partnerships. Uh, previously, Phyllis, uh, in 2007, uh, actually co-founded Innovate VMS, which you now probably hear it's been rebranded as Gateway VMS. And Phyllis was also instrumental in working with Kaufman and I-10 in creating uh, the One Million Cups events. Have, are you guys, who's familiar with One Million Cups? Okay, so if you're not, that's uh, something that, that we'll talk about and you'll learn about. Um, so with that, I would like to let Phyllis take over and let the show begin. Great, thank you very much. Thank you, Emma. Yeah, let me get you this. You good? I'll just go ahead and give a little, little welcome here to everyone. Welcome to CET, which is part of the Cortex Innovation District. So we are excited to have this class happening, and it's really one of the cornerstones for um, entrepreneurs coming into the, the ecosystem here. Speaking of which, okay. we good? Do you know how to yep, drive I'll, I'll drive. Yep. Okay. If you can't hear me or if these microphones get too loud, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll go ahead and get started. You are very fortunate uh, today because we have so many resources in the St. Louis entrepreneurship ecosystem. Um, it's, it's almost crazy to keep track of. Just to give you a little perspective on where we've come um, and how we got to today, Mary Louise mentioned that Center for Emerging Technologies was founded in 1998. Well, that was really the only, only support system around in 1998, unless you were going to the Small Business Administration or one of the government entities. We've come a long way since then. If you look at the catalog today of all the support systems, there are over 100 entities that can help support your business, and that's just in the high growth area. That's not in traditional small business. In 2004, Washington University opened up the Scandalero Center for Entrepreneurial Studies. There's still a big cornerstone in terms of uh, presenting workshops and speakers to the community. Between 2004 and 2007, you had BioGenerator get started, and we'll talk more about them in a minute. And you also had the St. Louis Archangels being founded. In 2007, I-10 and um, Innovate VMS, which is now Gateway VMS, uh, were founded as two of the first mentoring organizations here in the community. If you've heard about all this before, you have to step back and think that in 2007 and 2008, that's it. The ones that I mentioned were the only things that existed um, seven years ago. So there were maybe a, a handful. By 2012, there were over 70 support organizations that can help you. And today we're seeing a lot of those organizations start to cluster geographically for the first time. You don't have to try and run around the city and find things. We're starting to see things center um, around T-Rex, the incubator downtown. We'll talk about that a little bit more here in Cortex and also around the Helix Center in the county. The good news is you do not have to remember all this tonight. We're introducing this as a concept, and as you go through the program and work with your industry experts, you're gonna be aligned with the resources that are right for you, for your industry, as well as for your stage of growth. So this is really just an overview. These are some of the topics you can think about in terms of how our, our support uh, resources are organized. They're in mentoring and education, facilities and infra physical infrastructure, um, networking opportunities, which you can stay busy every day of the week in St. Louis now with networking opportunities, competitions, accelerators, and sources for investment. I'm not even going to address the last three because there are so many of them, and as you get into your industry-specific areas, we'll be able to steer you to the ones that are right for you. 
I'm going to give a few definitions here because there's a lot of confusion in the ecosystem. When it comes to mentoring, probably the only commonality in the definition of mentoring across the many mentoring programs here in St. Louis is that you're getting advice from someone that's been there. Beyond that, depending on the program, it could be a single mentor that you're working with or it could be a team of mentors. It could be for free, there could be a price to the program. It could be short term in terms of meeting once or twice or long term that it could be a relationship that lasts for several years. Um, these are all questions that you need to ask as you explore uh, opportunities that come up for mentoring. Incubators. Um, we have, we're very fortunate to have a lot of physical space available for entrepreneurs these days. But again, the level of service is very different depending on where you are. Um, is there mentoring included? Um, sometimes it's just the space. Prices vary dramatically. Some are subsidized and meant to be very low rates. Um, some are going to be more expensive. Some have a lot of amenities. Your copying, your printing, um, some are much more bare bones. And so finding the right fit for you depends on your industry, uh, where you are in your business, and what you're looking to get out of the physical space. Accelerators, very, very popular thing these days. Sometimes they involve competitions. Um, they also often provide space, um, money to you, and usually a, a spectrum of advice from business advisors. But realize, it is an exchange for equity. Um, so you are giving a piece of your company with this. Most of you will be looking at these down the road as you start to grow. Um, but you can, again, figure out which one's going to make the most sense. The other acronym that you're going to hear tossed around is EIR. It stands for Entrepreneur in Residence, and a number of our programs here, like Biogenerator and I-10, have them. They're experienced entrepreneurs, like Harry Rader has been a Biogenerator entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur in Residence, they're experienced entrepreneurs that match up with maybe two to five companies to serve as a mentor and as a coach. And over time, that relationship starts to develop and that EIR may actually become part of the, the leadership team for one of the companies and help it go forward. So again, something to keep in mind. If you hear a lot of acronyms, let us know if you don't understand because we start <coughs> tossing them around day to day. Um, stop us and ask. For mentoring in this program, there's, there are three key mentoring programs that most of you will be aligned with. Biogenerator works in the biospace, so the biotrack here is going to be working with the entrepreneurs and residents um, for Biogenerator. They also provide pre-seed and seed stage funding and have been around quite a while and really understand the needs of the bio companies across a range from medical devices to pharmaceuticals, the whole range. I-10, Mary Louise already referenced, they work with um, IT entrepreneurs um, from early stage all the way through to their mock angel funding prep. So there's a whole range of services that help move the IT companies forward. And Gateway VMS, VMS stands for Venture Mentoring and Service, um, also provides mentoring and will be working with the product-based companies. And I have on here universities. Our universities here are have fabulous entrepreneurship programs, and a lot of them have speakers and workshops that are open to the public. And I would encourage you to take advantage of them. You don't have to be enrolled as a student in, for most of these to participate. When it comes to physical space, again, we're really, we're really lucky here right now because we have so many different choices. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview. This is, are some photos of the Cortex District. You're in the Center for Emerging Technologies. We also have buildings here in the district, like the At 4240 building, um, which is coming online with Cambridge Innovation Center. T-Rex is the IT incubator downtown. Again, they offer a whole range of services from mentoring programs, accelerators, and various funding sources. Um, the League of Independent Workspaces, brand new, You've heard of the uh, accelerator or the incubators that are part of them. Um, Lab 1500, Claim, um, High 44, Nebula, and Tech Artista have joined together. You can buy one membership and have access to all five of them. This um, just rolled out as a concept in the last week, week and a half. So another exciting expansion to what's going on here in St. Louis. The Helix Center is located in Creve Core. It's very close 
to uh, the Danforth Plant Life Science Center in Bridge Park. It has both um, lab space as well as um, is home to a number of IT companies. And then IT Enterprises is close to the UMSL campus and the airport, and they also have both wet labs and high-speed computing facilities. Those are an overview. I'm probably missing a dozen other physical spaces, but those are a lot of the main ones that you're going to be hearing about. Networking, if you want to know what's going on in the entrepreneurship community here, um, I've put up a few things here. Um, the most important thing you can see is at the bottom of that screen. See the calendar at AccelerateStLouis.com. There's a, a common calendar there that most of the organizations in the area put their events on, and you can stay busy every night of the week. Um, just coming up, though, um, starting in October, um, I'm sorry, starting currently, I attend second Thursdays. Go to their website, check those out. It's a great way to meet other people in the IT space. They have speakers every month. Venture Cafe is starting in October. This will be every Thursday from 3 to 8 um, in our newer building at 4240 on Duncan. Um, every week will be a different mix of speakers, workshops. There will be um, office hours where you can talk to uh, an attorney or um, accountant on different topics as well. Stay tuned, there'll be a lot more there, but Thursdays are gonna be uh, a happening place at 4240. Uh, Tech Voodoo is a big event that's coming up on September 25th. There are flyers out in the hallway um, on the table with discounts. If you're, it's an all day event, but it includes meals. And if you use the code that's on the flyer, um, it, you can attend for $50 rather than 69. So please feel free to grab one of those or share it with friends. Startup Weekend is a whole weekend if you're interested in taking your concept and finding a team to help move it forward. That's November 14th through 16th. And then Startup Connection is our big entrepreneurship celebration um, of our early stage startups. And that is November 19th and will be at St. Louis University in the Bush Student Center. Uh, those are some of the highlights. This is nowhere close to everything that's gonna be available to you to attend between now and November. Please check out the calendar and uh, we look forward to having you at, um, attend and participate and network. For those that haven't networked here, you're gonna find a very open community of people that are willing to make introductions and give you thoughts and ideas about your business. So I encourage you to be part of the community. And this is an eye chart right now, but it's in your book. I'm not gonna address it, but it really breaks down the four key areas of funding, a lot of your resource partners, community partners, and the universities as well. It's a great reference tool. There's also gonna be another document um, that was recently published in a live magazine that we're gonna to email to you. It's a pretty lengthy article, but it's a great overview of what's happening here in the space and uh, the results that happen when people get involved and participate. Happy to take any questions. And again, this is just a brief overview. Don't worry about soaking it all in because as you move forward with your teams, um, you're gonna be uh, introduced to mentoring programs and uh, specifically in your industry tracks, figuring out which are the best resources that can help you. Any questions? Cool. Thank you.